show it because I'm so excited about it. Okay, so you can certainly shop ahead or shop backwards if you want to get them organized. But in recent years, when Peyton and I have been doing vault discoveries together, and again, as a graduate gemologist of the GIA, you go out with Peyton to the gem shows, to the most famous museums in the world. It's just like, oh my gosh, Peyton Kelly's here. So we are in such great company tonight. Yeah. But Thank we you. are now about to show you something that is unbelievable. I think it's going to fly. I wouldn't wait on this. Listen to Peyton while you're shopping. You may not know what this is. And Peyton does this for me sometimes when we're looking at stones together. You are looking at either blue or the multi in Montana Sapphire. And this is set in 14 karat gold. You're looking at about a carat of sapphire, whether you're doing the beautiful multicolor, which reminds me of my trip to Australia to look for sapphires many years ago, or that beautiful bright blue. Who thought sapphires could come in that color? That's what Montana sapphires are all about. Um, you do have diamonds used as accents. This is a $731 ring. And honestly, mined in the U.S., so beautifully set, I'd say yes, please, and thank you. But we have a sale price, brand new, for $584.78. This is absolutely gorgeous, about $150 off. And you know, Peyton, anytime you've brought us Montana Sapphires, they have sold out in our vault discovery. So let's dive into this one because I have a feeling we start at five, we go to 11. I'm gonna be doing that countdown again of what sizes have just sold out. Nice. I hope I have it in here because I wanna try this one on. Oh, so pretty. Well, you know, Montana Sapphires, Anything again, mind in America, you know, I search and search and search, and we found a great source, and we found them, and when I saw the, the colors, I thought, we have to do something. You know, I love blue, so I wanted to do something with all blue, but then when I saw the range of color, and I think they actually have a little, two pictures for this, that maybe we'll show in a little while, but look at the different colors. The, the, the yellow is less than 10% of the total production. The orange is even less than that. So and when you get into the greens and the blues, they're just very small percentages. So to be able to do a multicolored ring, very difficult and very, very rare. But look at the intensity of the color. You know, when you're talking about Montana sapphires, you're talking about the clarity, look how clean they are. You're talking about the intensity of the color, and you're talking about the brilliance. Right. Yeah. Peyton, I hate to interrupt you because we we sit with rapt attention when Peyton's talking, but I got updates already. If you want the blue, the all blue, it's last call. It's almost sold out. If you want the multi, we have about 150 in all sizes. So why don't we focus on the multicolor? Because Peyton, I was lucky enough to go to um, Queensland, Australia, to look at all, to look for sapphires. Literally went in a mine, terrifying, because um, we kind of had to jump over to grab onto the, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the expert here, to the ladder that led us down about 30 feet below the surface. Let's talk, and I, but I remember going to this one boutique and they had teeny, 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 tiny sapphires that were multicolor. Certainly not this size that adds up to a one carat total weight. Can we talk about colors? Because most of us think of blue when we think of sapphire, but look at the right. rainbow you've given us tonight. Right. Not all sapphire mines give us this kind of color. And a lot of times the color is very, very pale. But the nice thing about Montana sapphires is the intensity of the color. And, you know, I, I, I was in the Montana, that's the mine. The mine actually over hundreds of, and thousands of years, you know, the, the weather has rolled down the mountain and caused it. This is the original miners' um, houses that we were in. And when you look at that and you see, this is where they lived when they were mining. And this is the parcel that I was working with. And you can see, you can see it, but when you look at it, there's very few oranges, there's very few yellows. So we thought, you know what, let's do a real collector's item of multicolor. Because you just don't see it. Right. Yeah. Well, and, and, and that's the only one that's left, Peyton, because the blue has completely sold out. So we kind of helped you make up your mind. If you love American Gems, we talked about those beautiful Arizona Peridots before. Look at these colors. Like, and, if, and maybe it was hard to see when we were further away. Peyton, talk us through the blues here, because we really have pretty <laughs> much every shade of blue, um, right. starting here with what we would think of as a classic sapphire color. Right, right. Look at, the, look at the deep blue, but look at the life in it. You know, when you have a sapphire, you don't want this color. You want life. 
and every color has a, a name. You have the Montana sky, then you have, which is that deep, deep, deep blue. Then you have Rock Creek, which when you look at the creek that flows through the, right by the mountain, you see all these wonderful colors. You see greens and you see blues. So here we have a bluish Rock Creek, and then we have a green Rock Creek. And then when you're there and you see the sun and you see the color of the, of the dirt and the color of the, of the uh, field, then you see how beautiful the bright yellow is. And look at that. We often don't do a yellow sapphire. When you see a yellow sapphire, that intensity and that richness and that brightness is just very, very rare. And then look at the orange one. I, I can't even tell you how rare that is. But they have that intensity of color. And you know what, if you're thinking, okay, you know, I've seen colored sapphires before, go and look at them, because a lot of times they're going to be extremely pale. And that's what makes Montana sapphires different. These are not tiny sapphires. These are significant-sized sapphires with intense color. That's, I get so excited about Montana sapphires, because, you know, having gone to the mine and actually gone through it, met the miners, you know, walk through this place where the miners lived over 100 years ago, you know, it's such a treat. And then when you're holding a handful and you saw that parcel, and you saw very few yellow, very few orange, we want something that's really the story of Montana or Rock Creek right. Sapphire. So, so Peyton, we're going to wrap this up um, only because... I just put a wedding set together, which is our one time only, which is already on fire and coming up.